Yo, you wanna start making your favorite drinks at home? For this, you're gonna need some simple bar equipment, which we're gonna talk about today. Over here, I have a small set with which I can pretty much make any classic cocktail or any drink at all. But if you don't have this at home already, then don't worry, cause I'm gonna show you today of how to use your basic kitchen equipment and achieve the exact same delicious cocktails. Let's get going. We are starting with the king of the bar, the cocktail shaker, with which we're gonna shake a lot of lovely and delicious cocktails. Now, they all come in different shapes and sizes, but at the end, they all do the same thing, and that is to shake the cocktail. We're gonna use something else. So these are some of the alternatives I found in my kitchen. We have a mason jar, which is pretty cool actually. You can add all the ingredients inside, you can do multiple cocktails inside of it, close it tightly, and Shaky, 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 shaky. We have a water bottle, which has a, some kind of a strainer. And this is my favorite one, which is a thermos, commonly used for a coffee or a tea. Now, the cool thing about this thing is, it has its own strainer, so you won't have to use an extra one. Moving on to the next one, and that is the mixing glass, which is not necessarily always made out of glass. Here we have a mixing tin, which is made out of metal. But what are mixing glasses for? Aren't all drinks shaken? No, because drinks like the classic dry martini or the legendary Manhattan don't really need to be shaken because they don't really have any thick ingredient like a juice or eggs or some kind of a puree, meaning that a stirring process will be completely enough to mix our ingredients, to chill down the drink and to give it enough dilution. But let's get rid of this. Here we have the mason jar yet again. It's gonna come in hand to stir the drink this time. You can easily use a spoon to stir up in here. And here is a smaller jar, which can also be used as a mixing glass. Or if you guys are making the Negroni and the old fashioned, and you like those drinks, don't you? You can basically just add all the ingredients inside of the glass, stir it down, and there you have it. Salut! Jiggers, 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 jiggers. <laughs> what are jiggers for? They are actually one of the most essential tools in a bar, and they are used to measure our ingredients. Measuring ingredients is essential to keep the balance in the perfect cocktail. As any other bottle, jiggers come in very different sizes and styles, but let's get rid of those and see what we got in the kitchen. So the first thing I got is a measuring scoop, which is actually pretty cool. It has 20, 40, 60, 80, and 100 mils. So just to make this clear, every time we post a recipe, we're gonna give you guys the measurements in milliliters and in ounces. So don't worry if you don't understand milliliters, we're always gonna put the ounces and the other way around. Now the second object I have here is a shot glass. Here is important that you know that from country to country, shot glasses vary in sizes. So make sure you measure how big your shot glass is in order to be able to use it in your kitchen. Third object is a, what was it? Tablespoon. I'm pretty sure you have this at home, has most of the times 10 milliliters. You can also take a teaspoon, five milliliters. Here I wanna stop the video for a second, just to ask you guys to give us a small support by hitting the like button, or maybe comment below and tell us what you like or what you dislike and what we're doing so we can improve our content in the future. So, next tool, strainers. These ones are from a cocktail bar. There are also many different types of those. I'm pretty sure you can find something in your kitchen. If you drink a lot of tea, you would have this tea strainer here, but you can also use your pasta strainer. This is fairly easy to understand. Just make sure to always use freshly squeezed juices when making your cocktails, because this is going to improve the quality of your drink immensely. And after all, a drink is as good as its worst ingredient. Those are muddlers and we use them to extract flavors at the point. The point? <laughs> you know what I mean, straight away, to extract flavors at the moment, at the same very moment. Just adding your favorite herbs, fruits, or citrus, and using this object to extract the flavors straight into the shaker or in the glass itself. Here, there are thousands of alternatives which we can use, an old empty bottle or your spice container, whatever, just something which you can clean, you can reuse to crush those ingredients. In this video, we showed you some of the basic bar techniques like shaking, 
modeling and steering. Also, as you can see, you don't really need professional bar tools to get yourself starting. You can basically use your basic kitchen equipment and make delicious drinks. Check out the recipes, make those drinks. Let us know in the comments below how it turned out for you. And if you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to give us a like, subscribe for some future recipes and have a nice sip. Peace. We are starting. Anyway, but then I continue with blood. <laughs> Wait, okay, wait, I'm gonna laugh now. Starting with the king of the bar, the cocktail shaker. <laughs>